Hello, hello, lovely internet people. So today I'm going to continue with the uh, Let's Learn Electronics for the Beginners. I picked a very nice uh, metal detector kit, which I think is going to be perfect for most people's previous one was very, very cheap and uh, without any kind of uh, instructions. Some of you might be confused what to do, when to do or how to do it. All you will need is this kit, external battery, solder, soldering iron, which is heating up right now flush cut pliers the soldering wick is just optional if you would make any kind of mistakes let's start with uh, opening up the kit a development sticker manuals limited warranty and general information a booklet of other projects that you can purchase from Veleman a resistor color code guide one of the most important one, PCB. So it's professional made PCB with everything very well marked. Another item is ferrite core. We have push button, wire for the windings, capacitors, few of them, diodes and the resistors, battery clip, red LED. We have our adjusting knob, transistors, and we have our potentiometers. Assembly. Skipping this can lead to troubles. A few moments later. Let's start. I will make my stopping point with the zip tie. Wire. Let's make 43 turns. So, I have 43. So just a little bit of sticky tape to keep it in place. Let's make another coil which is 120 turns. A little bit of sticky tape. And we are done with the coils. Second one we need to install the diode. Let's take the diode and it should go into D1. Right here we have D1. Trim the lead. Zener diode. Once again, make sure that mark is corresponding to the mark on the PCB. Next step to install resistors. I will go just by order that they provided, and I will hope that it's okay. Let's solder everything in place. After installing the resistor, we can go with the capacitors. C1, it's either 122 or 332. Right now we have to put in the transistors, so you have three transistors, but all of them are the same, so we just need to put them in their corresponding places. So Two transistors right here, another one right there. Now it's the time for LED. One of LEDs, a flat spot, so that flat spot should go to correspondingly on the flat side on the PCB as well. all the potentiometers try to get it as tight as possible so it would relieve any stress when you are going to be uh, turning the knobs next one is the button it goes in only one way take our terminal leads and on the bottom of the PCB we have 9 volts DC, so plus and minus, red is always positive and black is negative. Connect our windings. You can see the procedure, uh, how to calibrate it, schematic itself. Take some kind of metal 
and when you are near it, it's around uh, it works from 3 or 4 centimeters. You can fine tune it to be a little bit more sensitive, but all in all, it works perfectly. There is another addition. You can install buzzer, which was not provided. Let's try to install the buzzer. The buzzer is installed. So, LED light is much more sensitive. For ten dollars you can make metal detector, it's a very fun project to do. Maybe in the future I will experiment to make it more sensitive. Thanks for watching and uh, have a great one.